Hey guys, and welcome to this short little film. Now, um, the reason I've done this is because um, I'll explain it a bit later on you know, when I was, was out there, but this has been done over a series of a couple of nights. I didn't just spend one night out there in the tent, I spent two or three, no, not consecutively, one night, a couple of nights now, so I went back out because I wanted to get everything right. Now in this first bit, um, we can see of, you know, when I first set the tent up and how I set things up. Um, now, the OEX Fox 1 is a tent that I've had for about four years now. Um, I mean, we were up in um, Penrith um, with our caravan and we went to go outdoors and uh, and I saw, I don't know if you know, but you probably do, but there's all these tents they have outside. And I saw the Fox 1 and um, and it was that that planted the seed for doing this, these backpacking national trails. That's where the inspiration came from. It was that tent on that day that put the idea in my head. And it's just been progressive ever since. You know, for the first few years, I didn't do anything. Um, you know, it was always up here. It was a dream. Um, it was a bit of a fantasy. And, you know, but uh, but yeah, so I hadn't actually used it. You know, like I used the Fox 2 last year and the Forsat 2 man as well. Uh, but I haven't actually used the, the Fox 1 and I want to use it because like I said, that's the tent that got me to where I am today. You know, the, it planted the seed, giving me the enthusiasm, the ambition, the motivation to do it. So I thought rather than taking it out there, I'll try it out there. So the first bit you're going to see is uh, is a clip from the, uh, the first day that I set the tent up and with each video um, clip that I've done, you'll see how it's evolved and how things didn't work on the first night um, to how things progressively got better to the, uh, the, the last night where I got the sleep system absolutely spot on. I got my pillows right, I got my sleeping bag right, I got my um, sleeping mat right with the insulation and everything else. So I'm able to get to that point now. So I know that when I go out there, I know exactly how my sleep system sets up. So, uh, so yeah, take a look. Right, so there we are. There's the Fox One. V2, version two. Uh, there's the information. 500 uh, mil hydrostatic head, which means it'll take pretty much everything that Mother Nature will throw at it in this country fire retardant but you don't smoke in tents anyway so we just come around the back there's the um, head end and you've got um, you've got a vent just there and so yeah and then at the bottom end you've got a vent that opens up I mean you can loosen these off which drops that down which I'll probably do later on actually just drop it down now because you know because we don't want to get cold so I'll close that up. So yeah, there's only one door on these. So we'll just open it up. Um, and what I've done here is I brought my 65 litre rucksack out just to show that it does fit down the side there. Um, so you can fit it in. I've got a little, um, it's like a yoga mat thing here. Just put my legs on just so I can um, kneel down before I get in the tent. So I'll have a look inside. So there we go, that's inside. Um, I've also got my uh, Trichology uh, mattress there. It's quite a thick one. Uh, Leviathan E, the 900, and the pillow which I've used on the Cumbria Way. Now we have a, um, we don't have a door on this side, but we've got a bit of room on that side there. So you can put your boots and whatever else you want. You can probably get your uh, cook kit there as well. Make a brew on your jet boiler, whatever there. So it seems there's quite a bit of room in there. Um, let me look up. I've got my uh, flex tail lamp for tonight to use, obviously <laughs> for light. Um, it is quite snug in here, so it's very minimalistic, but um, it's a good little um, backpacking tent. So there we go, we'll see you tonight. Right, I don't know if you can see me on, on camera there, but uh, we're in. <laughs> so there's, there's 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 not much room in here, um, but uh, but yeah, I thought I'd. Um, I mean, it's, it's cold, really cold. Um, I've got a brew, brought a cup of tea out to um, to have a natter. Um, 
you might think, you know, why, why am I doing this? I mean, one, yeah, it's to test the kit for one, and then two, it's for, for my own um, confidence thing, I think, because um, this is this is this is my journey. You know, I had a couple of attempts on my own last year, and um, you know, they both didn't go as well as I'd hoped. But um, you know, we wanted to try again, and we will try again, and we'll continue trying. You know, until we get it right. You know, um, my people with mental health, you know, anxiety. You know, those demons are always there. You know, and, and you're always thinking about them. And you're always thinking about what could could go wrong, and you know. And, I, and I'm trying to get past that in the only way I know how. And being out here in the garden, you know, in here. For me, is um, is part of that process, um, you know, and, and I want to get used to to the kit that I'm using, so that I know I've got full confidence in it when I get out up in the mountains, you know. So if, if it is cold, you know, I'm going to be warm. I know I'm going to have a good night's sleep, and you know, whereas every time we've been so far, I've not slept, you know, for for whatever reason. Um, but you know, a lot of it is is being cold, you know, and and I don't want that. I don't want to be constantly cold. Um, so 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 we're trying, and um, got my earplugs. <laughs> no, but now it's going to be noisy. Um, so so yeah, I mean, I don't really really know how to explain it, but you know, any people with anxiety, you know, you you'll know that um, you know this ain't easy. It's, it's a constant battle it's a constant fight um, because those demons are always there regardless of the little victories you have they're always there you know and they always try and you know and, and if if you know we can get past them if we can beat them and just keep doing keep going keep showing up keep having a go then um, you know we live next to a railway so I'm gonna have that till late um, you know then Eventually, you know, these struggles will go away. Excuse me, let's have a drink. Um, so, you know, trying this new kit, new sleeping bag, new mattress, because again, you know, when I did those wild camps last year, I was uncomfortable because the mattress I had was crap. It was just a cheap one off Amazon. I thought, yeah, it's lightweight, it'll do, it'll do. And, um, and, and it didn't do. So we've hopefully learned that lesson, you know, with this one. I mean, already, I mean, I'm a side sleeper. So, you know, I used to wake up out there and my hip was in absolute agony, you know, and I'd be turning over and then now it lays me up. That hip was in agony. I'd be flipping back over and it was just the constant pain. And, you know, and that didn't help. So, so we're here. I mean, I've got a little um, fleece, green fleece, lightweight um, fleece under, on top of the mattress, between me and the mattress. So I'm hoping that that helps uh, with insulation. It seems to be because, you know, it's it's frozen out here, but I'm actually really toasty in here. I might need to <laughs> take this off, believe it or not. Um, but, um, you know, we're trying. And, you know, we'll keep doing this because I think this is the only way forward. So that when it comes to doing the wild camps on my own next year, I know I've got full confidence in the kit, I'm used to sleeping out here because I've got my seat sleep system right, and I know I'm gonna have a good night's sleep, and you know, and I could just sort of put that to bed, you know, and have the confidence from that. Um, you know, and on the other hand, you know, this little tent, you know, I mean, it's not great, it's not easy to do anything in here. You know, even getting in the sleeping bag was a challenge, but you know, there are places where the night cat that, that I've got will be seen, you know, and it's gonna require stealth and this thing is perfect for that. So so that's why I've, you know, I'm in this one tonight, um, just to give it a go, see what it's like. I've also, I brought my jet boil, it's around the other side, because so I'm gonna make a cup of coffee in here in the morning, just to see how I get on with that. So that if it is bad weather, um, you know, and, I, and I'm taking this with me, then we can look at, you know, being able to do stuff in this little tent because, you know, people say that you can't do anything in there. And, you know, I mean, to a certain extent, yes, it's a struggle, but it's doable, you know. So, so we'll, um, we'll certainly give it a go and see how we get on. 
So, so I'm sorry for waffling, but um, I just need to get that off my chest and just explain why I'm doing this. And um, and yeah, and I will see you in the morning, I think, all being well. Right, so that's the first bit. As you can see, what I've done is just put the, the sleeping bags directly onto the Trekology mat without anything in between. And um, I started to feel a few cold spots on my legs through that night. Um, so I'm in mean, a fleece blanket that I mentioned uh, didn't work so I ended up putting that over the top and it worked over the top so so yeah that was the first night and setting up for the second night um, you'll see how things have changed so yeah take a look right my um, sleep system I've got obviously I've got the Leviathan EV900 but I've turned it into a quilt um, because I'm gonna have my little uh, hand warmer heater thing but underneath that, I put um, an oversheet on top of my mattress, and in between then, I've got um, a foil membrane. So it, um, it, so this sheet keeps that in place. So obviously, that's going to maintain your body heat to stop it dropping through the bottom. Um, and, and we should be quite snug in there. Right. So, so yeah, you can see the difference when I put the uh, the sheet over the top of the, uh, the Trekology and I had the insulation in between. Then my sleeping bag on top of that, and I had my little uh, hand warmer, uh, which is this thing. Um, I had that in the bottom of my sleeping bag. I mean, that lasted well 12 hours. So I was getting the heat from that. So it kept the sleeping bag lovely and toasty warm. Um, and all I was wearing was a pair of um, thermal tights. Um, and a t-shirt and my black fleece jumper and that was it I took my hat off I didn't need my soft shell jacket and it was super super toasty warm comfortable and then I actually got a full night's sleep I mean, that was last night actually um, I went to bed at about half past nine it took about an hour to drop off but I didn't hear another thing until my alarm went off at quarter past five this morning and I, I was really really comfortable in there I mean, I know it's a tight little tent, but um, like I said on the video, uh, it's, it's great for stealth. And, uh, you know, I want to use it because obviously, like I said earlier, that was where the seed was planted. So I need to get out with that tent. So um, I've got a few plans for, for next year. Uh, there's a few national trails I want to do. There's four I want to do next year. Um, all starting in January, hopefully. Um, now, making a cup of coffee, I managed to do that in there and so so that was fine uh, but as far as inclement weather um, the zip front the door I've, I've come up with a, a carabiner and um, paracord and peg system to lift that up so, so it pops up so you've got a bit of an area there which is sheltered to be able to do any cooking that you need to uh, with the Fox one and I've also got um, a tarp as well um, which I'm going to take with me just in case. It packs down into a little bag. It's only, it's only about that small, that small thing. Um, so I'll be able to put that up as well if, if it is raining and put like a cover over the top and be able to cook in there if I need to. So, I mean, that's only lightweight. Uh, 247 grams that little tarp thing is, but I'll show you that when I did the first wild camp with the Fox one next year. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, I think that's about it really. So there you go, that's the OEX Fox 1. Um, really, really good for little tent and I've finally been able to sleep in it. Um, so, so yeah, so that's it. It is the 19th of December today. So um, I don't think we'll be have anything else between now and Christmas. So um, I hope you all have a fabulous Christmas and a brilliant, brilliant new year. And um, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. That would be fantastic. And, um, and I will see you in 2024. So until then, take care and bye-bye.